cinema and setting. Hey everybody, welcome back to this short, short form video series on the Fighting Fantasy RPG and the ways I'd like to mess with it. Now, fun fact about Fighting Fantasy, uh, the writers didn't really think that people who loved fantasy RPGs were going to pick it up, but rather people would be onboarding into the hobby through their love of fantasy films. Now remember, this is 89, so the whole Conan craze is less than 10 years distant. And you can see why they thought this from the parlance they use in the book. Now, GMs are referred to as directors, players are referred to as the cast, and you cut between scenes. Now, this doesn't really make any difference mechanically, or I would have already mentioned it, but it does show through in the two adventures in the book. Those adventures being especially notable because there's a really great GM tip in them. It's at the end of every encounter, and it is a section called Problem question mark uh, and is basically just talking about the ways that this encounter could go pear-shaped and how the GM could roll with those punches it's actually like really great writing and some of the most forward-thinking design in the whole book makes those adventures totally runnable the thing that makes those adventures kind of less interesting to run is the fact that the setting for this game is just so generic like I get that you're trying to onboard people and a generic fantasy setting is an easy way to do that, but man, it's bland. Now, they tried to liven it up a little with further book releases like Black Sand, but it didn't help too much. Um, and it really got me thinking about my setting and how important it is to have a very unique setting in your game, especially in the current market, and how other games understand that, like Troika. Um, so for that setting, I was thinking I'll dive into some of the weirder parts of Appendix N. I'll look into some older RPGs that I don't think get enough credit in the modern age, like Empire of the Petal Throne. But uh, mostly, I can't tell you anything about it, <laughs> mainly because it's just the early days. But what I can tell you is I'm super excited about the people that I have working on this project with me. And uh, please, please, please follow me here or on Twitter at Dank Dungeons if you want any updates. I would love to share them with you when they are available to share <laughs> and uh that said this is the end we've reached the end of the series hey uh if you've only watched this one check out some of the older ones they're fine and as always thanks for watching